Here we've got the Kaps of Skeinsberg. Since uh, Skeinsberg refers to the hill, it means kind of steep hill. It's set behind me here, kind of northwest facing. It's where two kind of hills come down to a valley. The workers who work on the farm have always called it Skeinsberg. If you are bringing a tractor trailer down the hill and you've got say two ton of fruit behind you, uh, you sure hope that the tractor's brakes don't fail. And uh, they have in the past, and we've lost one or two tractors on the Skeinsberg. Well, that's just part of farming. And uh, it's planted to this beautiful bushfire in Sinso. Vineyard's planted in 91, so almost heritage vineyard. Sinso is kind of something that was very popular in the 50s, 60s, 70s. You know, uh, as it was a variety that could bear lots of tons and, and farmers were paid um, per ton. So the more you could deliver, the more you were paid. And that's why Sinso and Columba and Shannon were very popular varietals. But at the end of the 80s, 90s, South Africa started getting new cultivars. And as it wasn't considered a noble varietal, a lot was pulled out. We still have this. And uh, when we were looking at trying to make some lighter style dreads that are nice for warm climates like South Africa, to drink in summer or for lunch, something like that. It's got very low tannins because it's quite a big berry. All your tannin and color sits in the skin, so the bigger the berry, the, the lighter the wine. And again, you'll see, if you look at the color, much lighter in color than any of the other carps of red wines. It comes into the cellar, the lug boxes, we do about 20% whole bunch into the tank, the lug box straight into the tank. The rest of the tank is then destemmed. We do two to three pump overs a day, so treating it slightly lighter. Fermentation is usually quite quick, even though we will keep the cooling quite on. You know, quite on. We want to try and regain as much of the, the nice fresh fruit character, so it doesn't really go over 25 degrees in ferment temperature. Uh, but even after about seven days, the, one, the tank is dry. We'll press it off and it goes to older 500 liter barrels. So again, we don't want wood to dominate the wine. We just want the wine to lose its edges and soften with about 10 months in barrel. And then we bottle the wine. Lovely fruit characters, a whole variety, but mostly the red fruit, a lovely light summer wine. And that follows straight through to the palate.